First the Pac-Man eats through a maze of dots. Then the Pac-Man heads for the corner spot. Then he eats his fill of a power pill. And then all the Welcome to Quick Shot, the bite-sized retro gaming fact show that's perfect for those few minutes of sit-down time on the toilet. AKA, it's filler between the big videos. And today I want to chat about Namco. <laughs> Been doing that quite a lot lately, haven't I? Well, to make it even more interesting, I want to talk about the golden days of Namco in America. You know, back before the days of Sonic and not long after Mario started to become a household name, you had this guy. People nowadays may not realize just how legendary this little guy is. Pac-Man was a very big deal in America, not just in the arcades, but on breakfast cereals, toys, theme parks and cartoons. And because of this, Namco became quite the recognisable name, which in turn got them plenty of money. Yep, Namco was pretty well off, and this guy, Stephen Drake, was the controller in charge of the company's funds. So, what did he actually do? Well, he opened up a bank account in Namco's name and started to siphon the money right from under Namco's noses. $318,000 was deposited into the bank account without Namco knowing and the bank itself obviously being none the wiser. Stephen was actually secretly changing up this money for Canadian Maple Leafs and South African Cougar Lands, one of the more popular ways for individuals to invest in gold, and the way that Stephen Drake intended to take out the money without being caught. However, the head of Namco only became aware of this situation when Drake attempted to withdraw his money in rather large chunks. The bank was a little curious as to why so much money was being withdrawn and contacted the head of the company to confirm the transaction. And obviously, it was at this point that police were called in and the 550 gold coins were found in the trunk of his car at a local airport, plus an extra $32,000 of cash and $200,000 in cashier checks were found on his person. And with that, he was quickly arrested at Namco America Incorporated on site on what is assumed to be the final leg of his plan. Namco company officials did not want to discuss this case except to say that Drake has been discharged. He is now in county jail awaiting possible charges on grand theft and forgery. In Sunnyvale, Lord Lequesta, KTVU Channel 2 News.